minds on Christ and who has bring in to enter into his presence. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. Come on, help me sing. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. Come on, help me sing. Come on, sing. All the glory belongs. All, all the, the glory, glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. Help me sing, yeah. say all the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. Sing all the glory. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, come on and help me sing. Sing all the glory belongs. All the glory belongs sing to all you. The glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on and help me sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Everybody sing hallelujah. Yahweh, 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 be praised. Yahweh, Yahweh, be praised. All the glory, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, come on, come on and help me sing, sing. All the glory belongs. All, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, come on and help me sing. Everybody sing, ha, ha. Belongs to you. 
All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on and lift him high. Sing all the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. One more time, help me sing. Everybody sing ha ha hallelujah. Sing ha. in the sanctuary. All the glory belongs to the Lord. I see why the psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. 
It's important that we exalt the name of the Lord. It's important that we lift up the name of the Lord. It's important that we give thanks unto the Lord because he is good and his mercy endureth forever. And I do it. Uh, one reason why I give thanks, one reason why I give praise unto the Lord, because it calms all of my fears. It takes away all of my anxiety. And when I begin to magnify the name of the Lord, it gives me strength. It gives me boldness. It gives me the ability to stand. Hallelujah, glory. That's why we ought to magnify. That's why we ought to praise him. That's why we ought to give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. When you up, you should thank him. When you down, you should thank him. When everything is going well, you should thank him. You should magnify and lift up the name of the Lord. That's why we say hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 magnify the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I feel like David, when he said, it is good for us to be in the house of the Lord. He tells us to enter in his gates with thanksgiving and then come into his courts with praise. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And we certainly praise the Lord for our first lady, Lady Tracy Quinn. Come on and give God a praise. Thank you, Jesus. I just got off the phone with Pastor Duck. She has a, a bad reaction to her flu shot that she got. Thank you, Lord. So pray for her that the Lord will touch her body. Amen. Give her strength. Uh, we prayed, touched and agreed. We felt the Holy Ghost on the line. It felt like Jesus was on the main line. Hallelujah. You can call him up and tell him what you want. Hallelujah. So I'm expecting her to be back into the house of prayer on next this coming week amen because we know god is a good god amen uh he is a healer isn't he a healer the lord is a deliverer isn't he the deliverer hey we can, can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities and let us pray for evangelist errington and minister grady we want to praise the lord for them and we want to honor them as well I want to honor Mother Louise Davis. Come on, give God a praise. Thank God for Deacon Fields and Deacon uh, Daniels. We thank God for our praise team, our praise leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Monique and sister, amen. Uh, what's your name again? <laughs> Amanda, thank you, Lord. I had a senior moment. Amen. I thank God. I'm going to be honest with you. I was looking at her singing up here. And I know she, you know, trying to ingest the baby and bring the baby out. Thank you, Lord. And I know that, you know, all of her strength counts right now. And, and she's giving some of that strength to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now you can't beat God given. When you give something to the Lord, the Lord is going to give you back. Hallelujah. So I'm looking for a great return. I'm, I'm looking for a miracle. I'm looking for God to show out. 
Hey, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we certainly do thank God for our ushers and our media team. Come on, give God a praise. And I thank God for you all that are here on today. I thank God for those that are in virtual land. Amen. Hearing us on Facebook. We praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And we want to pray for all of our parishioners that are going through various things in their body. We want to remember Sister Latanya. We want to also uh, uh, remember our brother, Brother James Harper. Amen. That the Lord will touch him and bless him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Remember uh, Brother Dave. Amen. Dave Douglas. Amen. That the Lord will touch his body, touch his mind. Amen. We need help from the Lord, don't we? Hallelujah. And you know what? Also pray for, I, was, I, le I learned this. I'm going to move on. I feel like talking today. Thank you, Lord. But, but I learned from Apostle Paul reading his scriptures. He said, also, you not only don't just pray for the, those that are going through, but pray for those that are strong. Amen. That they would remain strong. Amen. Hallelujah. So I pray for all of you that are strong right now. Hallelujah. That you would remain strong. Amen. Well, hallelujah. God is a good God, isn't he? Yes, he is. And we uh, want to give thanks unto the Lord because today is our global missions day. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we certainly honor uh, the Lord today in our global mission. And we're going to be bringing, uh, uh, I was going to say, uh, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But we're going to be bringing uh, Mother Louise Davis up, and she's going to give us some inspiring words. Amen. In just a moment. But we want to uh, pray in our service and get ourselves in, in, in readiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. How many of you know men should always pray and what? Not faint. Amen. So uh, as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we certainly want to have the church stand at this time. And I thank God for my brother being with us on this weekend. Amen. Celebrating the holidays. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The, we had a long talk with Jesus the other day. Amen. Last night we were going over the scriptures. And that's probably why I feel good today. Amen. How many know it's good to go over the word? Hallelujah. It builds you up, gives you encouragement and strength. So we certainly do want to. Uh, go before the Lord in prayer. Let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you, Lord, we just say thank you. And we praise you for your greatness and your mercy. We thank and praise you, Lord, for how good you've been to each and every one of us. We ask you, Lord, that you bless our service on today. Send forth your anointing. Send forth your power. Bless those, Lord, that are here on today. Bless those that are in virtual land on today. We ask you, Lord, that you look upon each and every request that's been made to known to you, Lord. Remember Brother Harper in a special way. Remember, Lord, uh, Pastor Duck, Lord. Remember all of them that we have called their name. We ask you, Lord, that you send forth strength, send forth a blessing. And, Lord, we ask you to bless those, Lord, that are strong in thee right now. Hallelujah, our strength coming from thee. We ask you, Lord, that you continue to give us that mind. Continue to give us that heart to walk with thee. We ask you, Lord, that you reclaim the backsliders. Those, Lord, that have turned their back on you. We ask you, Lord, that you redeem them again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And, Father, we thank you, Lord. We ask you to continue to bless our service on today. Send forth your anointing. Send forth your grace. Send forth your strength. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen and amen. And as you continue to stand, thank you, Lord. We just want to bring you one word of scripture out of the book of Psalms, Psalms uh, 50, a psalm of Asaph. And it says, the mighty God, even the Lord, have spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come 
and shall not keep silence. Fire shall devour before him, and it shall be the very tempestuous round about him. He shall call the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant be with me by my sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for our God is judge himself. Come on, give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you may be seated. And right now, we want to call up our own, very own global mission. Amen. Chair lady, and she's a part of. And we are a part of the Night Pain States Council. Thank you, Lord. Monique, let me get that mic. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Lord. And we want to call her up on today. Thank you. Let's just stand one more time. Give God a praise to her, to Sister Mary Louise Davis. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I uh, wrote a little something down. I, uh, I've rewritten this more than once because every time I write it, I get something more. And it's so much, I don't even know how to put it into words. So I'm just going to do a little something here. And um, thank you. I uh, title it, Whatever It Takes. Whatever it takes. We're living in a land, we're living in an age where anything goes. What's right, they call, what's wrong, they call right. What's right, they call wrong. And we're doing things the way we feel as humans that it should go and that it should be. But God have a prescribed way he have a prescribed way for us to live, and that way is according to his word. And if we don't do it that way, we're not going to be able to make it. Yes. We're not going to be able to receive the crown of glory. We're going to get right to the gate of heaven or New Jerusalem or whatever you want to call it. And he say, oh, you did all of that. You did this and you did that, but I never knew you. Depart from me, you know. That's going to be a sad, sad time. So I wrote a little something down. God said, I know my thoughts that I think toward you. Amen. Thoughts of peace, not evil. So that you can have an ending that I want you to have. Amen. God expects and want us to reach the end of our lives in peace. In order to reach that expected end, we must have a positive mindset, whatever it takes. Amen. The mindset of whatever it takes, there can be no counting the cost. When you stop to count the cost, you're hesitating. When you hesitate, you're missing out on the blessing. So you don't have time. If God say do it, you do it. If he say speak it, you speak it. It doesn't matter what man say. It doesn't matter what the people think about you. All you want to do is please God no matter what it takes. Yes. And it's going to cause you if you please God. It's going to cause you some things. And I have here, we can't afford to count the cause or the hesitate, you know, because it will cause you to miss out on God's plan, which is the hope of life. My Lord. The life that he set in place for us through his son, Jesus Christ. God knew that we were going to need help. Yes. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. Yeah. We are just flesh and blood. We are just flesh. And flesh told us to nothing. It's a messed up thing. It's messed up. Yes. As we know so well how bad our flesh is. Life itself is a race. Yes. With any race, there's a starting line as well as the finish line. Yes. Our starting line is right here, right now, earth. Yes. All right? We should start with Jesus. Yes. 
If you start without him, then everything is in vain. All right? Only the begotten son of God, Jesus Christ, is the starting, is the starting point, which means first you have to have your mindset changed, which yes. is to repent, to change, to get baptized in Jesus' name. The name Jesus is your ticket to enter the race, the race of life. And then God himself will reward you with a gift, the gift of the Holy Ghost. The evidence is by speaking another language as God gives the utterance. Yes. This is the entry gift of the race. Yes. There is another gift at the end of the race called the crown of life or eternal life. If we drop out of the race, we dis disqualify ourselves yes. for the crown. It's not the one that run the fastest. Wow. It's the one that is able to take the pain of life, the pains of life, yes. the disappointments, the shame, the hurt. Yes. They are all matter of evil in this race. Yes. But your obedience to God, when he says, stand still, and know that I'm God yeah. is better than the things that we endure. Because if you have a, a prayerful lifestyle in this race, oh, every tear that falls from your eyes, yeah. every frown from the hurt on your face, every shame you endure, and uh, every disappointment you experience, there is strength. Yeah. Strength from God that will cause you to stand still. Yeah. That peace Y'all, that's shown enough peace. When God give you peace in the midst of the storm to stand still, that's peace. All right? And all the same time in your mind, you're running. Because remember I said earlier, you can't stop you to count the cost, and you can't afford to hesitate. So when God says stand still, he don't mean just stop. You have to continue working. You have to continue in your prayer life. You have to continue coming to church. You have to continue reading the word and studying the word. You have to continue fasting. You have to continue loving and treat everybody right. It doesn't matter what somebody does to you. It matters what you does to that person. So we have to run with the thought of no matter whatever it takes, I have to get my crown. All right? The end is not yet, though. We must obey and love God at all times. Yes, Noah, just to name a few, when he built the ark and put all the animals in it, Noah didn't know how this was going to work, yes. but he never said, you know, I don't think this is going to work. I don't know how the Lord going to do this. I don't think these animals and all these folks going to fit up in here. He obeyed God. He did yes. the work. God don't want us to hesitate. He don't want us to try to figure out his plan. Just do it. Obey. And Noah obeyed God. He trusted God. Yes. All right? Another one that I wrote was Abraham. When old Abraham was told to offer up his son, first of all, God told him to leave his homeland. Yes. You got to go from amongst your people. Yes. I'm going to take you someplace that you know not of. Abraham didn't say, well, Lord, I don't know about this, all these folks I've been knowing all my life. He never said that. He obeyed God. He trusted God. When God told him to slay his son, he yeah. lifted up his hand to do just what God had told him to do. God says, Abraham, I know you believe me. Stay your hand. In other words, don't kill your son. I know now that you trust me, you believe me. All right? There's another one. Uh, Abraham trusted and believed in God. Yeah. Jairus, when his daughter died, yeah. he didn't even feel worthy enough for God, for Jesus to come into his house. Yeah. He sent for Jesus because he knew that Jesus, God through Jesus would be able to help him. Yeah. So he told his servant, said, I'm not even worthy for him to come into my house, but go get him. Go get him, go get him and let him know that my daughter is dead, my only child, yeah. and I want her to be alive. And, and uh, because of his faith, God said he raised his daughter up, Jairus' daughter up, the lady with the issue of blood. Yeah. She, she didn't count the cause. Jairus didn't count the cause. Abraham never counted the cause. They didn't hesitate. The lady with the issue of blood, she saw all of those people. That didn't stop her. Yeah. 
the people no doubt were saying, lady, where are you trying to go? But she knew if I could just touch the hem of his garment. I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that this blood will stop. It will stop. And she made it to Jesus. Jesus said, who touched me? Who touched me? I felt the best virtue when it went out of my body. Somebody touched me. You know today we can touch Jesus anytime, any place, anywhere. It doesn't matter about the crowd. We can touch him, all right, in the name of Jesus. If you got a problem, and we all have problems. We all got problems. We all struggling, trying to get that crown. But I can tell you this. Whatever it takes that you do, do it in the name of Jesus. All right? Jesus saw and knew, or the lady knew that Jesus could heal her. All right? And when Jesus knew that he had, uh, that, when Jesus knew that he had to die for us, he never said, oh, no, Lord. God, no, 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 I can't do that. He, he never, Jesus never hesitated. You know, the bottom line is love. We have to love God even more than we love ourselves. Because when you love somebody, you make sacrifices that no one, people look at you and think you're strange or crazy. I remember the time when I first got married. I was young in my marriage. In our car, we didn't know at the time how bad the weather in Erie was. And our, we didn't buy the best battery for our car. And the car would freeze. I, re I remember at least twice in the winter time, our car froze. My husband would get out. I begged him not to go. I said, honey, because we lived on West 4th Street. He had to walk all the way to GE. But he told me, he said, you know, I want you to have the best. He got out in that snow, and he started walking. But you know what? God saw his heart. Yes. God sent somebody by and gave him a ride. Yes. God knows our heart, yes. and God wants us to have the best. Yes. That's why he let his son, Jesus Christ, die on the cross for us. And when Jesus' ca time came for him to die, he never said no. He never hesitated. He said he submitted himself. He surrendered. And he said to the Lord, for this cause came I into the world. Not my will, but thine will be done. Yes. All of these people that I've talked about are human beings, wow. including Jesus Christ himself, just as we are. If we want anything from God, we must trust, trust and obey him. Yes. No hesitation, no counting the cause. We must have that mindset of whatever it takes. Yes. I'm going to do this thing, whatever it takes, as with Noah, as with Abraham, with Jairus, and the lady with the issue of blood. We must have the same mindset of whatever it takes. If this, is the mind, if this mind be in you, it would take you all the way from earth to glory, which is the crown of life. So let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Reverence God. Obey him. For this is our duty as human beings. This is, the, this is the type of person or people that God is looking for. Yes. And if you do this, then the only thing we get then and only then do we get that rest. We get rest from life's struggle. The end. The race is over and we won. Yes. That's if we make it to the end. How many of you feel like pressing your way? Come on and give God praise. How many of you going to go to the end? Hallelujah. I am determined to hold out to the end. We certainly thank God for that word on today. Thank God for Mother Louise Davis. Amen. Hallelujah. We got a jewel in the place. Hallelujah. So right now we'll turn it over to our praise and our worship. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's praise and worship time in the sanctuary. Whatever it takes, we're going to do it, Father. Let us create an atmosphere where he can dwell. You said if two or three are gathered together.
your name, you'll be right in the midst. Amen. Hallelujah. We're here for you, Father. You and only you, Father. And we trust and believe that you will give us exactly what we need. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your name today, Jesus. You're worthy, Father. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I praise, I praise your, name. your name. I praise, I praise your, name. your name. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, I praise, I praise your, name. your name. I praise, I praise your name. Your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Lord, you're worthy. You're worthy. Of my praise. Of my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Of my praise. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same yesterday, today, and yeah, forever. I pray, I pray your, name. your name. I pray, I pray your name. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and yeah. Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. And you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I pray your name. Your name. I pray your, your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Your mighty, mighty, 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 your mighty, mighty,
mighty mighty you're strong in battle 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 hallelujah hallelujah holy 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 you worthy of my Father, thank you, Jesus. You're worthy. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name today, Father. You are good, Father. And we call you the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, because that is who you are, amen? Hallelujah. We bless you. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yeah, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here. You are here, you're touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yeah, yeah, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. If you are here, you are here, touching every heart, touching every heart. I worship I you. Worship Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. And we call you way maker, miracle worker, yeah, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. This part it says, and even when I can't see it, you work it, and even when I can't feel it, you work it, you never. 
never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I can see it, you work. Even when I can feel it, you work. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop, you never stop working. Even when I can't see it, you working. And even when I can feel it, you work. Never stop. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop working. You keep on working. You never stop working. You never stop. 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 You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. We make miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Come on and give the Lord a praise. If you know him to be a way maker, come on and give him a praise. If you know him to be a promise keeper, come on and give the Lord a praise. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Let us bless his holy name. Come on and just give him one more praise. Hallelujah. 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 We were glad when they said unto us, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad that he is a way maker. I'm so glad that he is a promise keeper. Hallelujah. And that he never stops. Even when I can't feel that he's working, even though I can't see that he's working, he never stops. He never stops. He never stops. He never stops. He never stops working. Even when I can't see that you're working. And even when I can't see that you're working, you never stop. You never stop working. He never stops. You never stop. You never stop working. He never stops. You never stop. You never stop working. He never stops. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Do you believe that on today? Do you believe that he's all existent? Do you believe that he is a mountain mover? That he is a burden bearer? That he is a heaven old sharer? Come on and give the Lord a praise. You never stop. You never stop working. Hallelujah. Come on and give him one more praise. Uh, David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm not going to fear any evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Uh, aren't you glad that the Lord is with thee? Aren't you glad that the Lord is with thee? Hallelujah. He encampeth about thee, keeping thee from danger seen and unseen. You ought to give God a praise. He told Jesus that, hallelujah, he told Jesus, told Peter that the devil has desired to sift you as wheat. Jesus said, I prayed for you that your faith fail not. Hallelujah. It's not you that's keeping you in the test. It's not you that's keeping you from falling. Hallelujah. It's your faith and confidence that you have in God. 
Come on and give the Lord a praise. Ah, faith is that substance of things hoped for. You ought to give him a praise. It's the evidence of things not seen. You ought to give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever it takes, thank you, Jesus. No matter what it takes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. The scripture says, but time and chance happen to them all. Hallelujah. But we add what to that scripture that says, thank you, Lord, but he that endureth to the end. Come on, give God a praise. How many of you going to endure to the end? Hey, I want to receive a crown. I want to look upon his face. I want to give him a praise. I want to throw my crown at his feet. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. We certainly do thank God uh, for how he has kept us and where he has brought us from. Amen. Hallelujah. Brought us from a mighty long way. Thank you, Lord. And we certainly do praise the Lord for the service thus far. Amen. Hallelujah. And by way of announcements, we had uh, a group here on uh, yesterday, our packing committee. Thank you, Lord, because we're transitioning. We're going to be transitioning at the end of December to our new location, uh, 930 Liberty Street. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for that. And, and we will be uh, entering into a more vivid uh, a more community presence of ministry. And the goodness of it is, is that we all have our spot. We all have our place to shine. We can all put our hands to the plow. Amen? Amen. Uh, the, all those gifts that God has given you, you'll have the ability and the opportunity to manifest it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, we're going to have one more packing committee on this coming Saturday. At 10 o'clock, 10, I believe they've been going to 10 to 12, 10 to 1. Amen. And, and, and what I'm hearing, because uh, I attended a, a funeral uh, on yesterday, but what I'm hearing, it was good fellowship, amen, going on uh, in the house. Amen. When the saints come together and work together, there's good fellowship in the house. Amen. So let us come out. And then after that, that should be the last time that we... Uh, need with packing, but then we'll start uh, getting our, our our brothers together and our sisters together in a mass move. Amen. We'll get a big, big, long you you. What do you call that? You all. Thank you, thank you, Lord. I've been having a couple senior moments. Y'all pray for the pastor. <laughs> get one of them big you hauls, and uh, somebody suggested we get a semi truck, but I don't think you can drive a semi in the in the in the city of Erie. Amen. But we got a semi-driver. We got one with that license there. Brother Fields, amen. Amen. But Brother Williams, you drive a semi too? Oh, he look at me like, what you think? <laughs> amen. Amen. My God, maybe I'll get me a little semi. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Y'all stay, y'all stay on the routes and we can get there. <laughs> So we certainly do thank God for what he's doing, and we praise God for the vision um, that he has given unto us. Amen? Hallelujah. God is good, isn't he? And I hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Amen. We spent it in, in a safe way with family, amen, and some friends. We thank God for that. As we uh, get ready to move forward in our service on today, Thank you, Jesus. We want to uh, be a blessing to the household of faith. So it's blessing time. Amen? Amen. Blessing time in the sanctuary. Thank you, Jesus. So uh, let the church stand and Deacon Fields come forth. Uh, am I forgetting any other announcements? Amen.
with your, with your best blessing in your hand. Gracious Father, those that are, are, are receiving this message uh, from our Facebook, um, we want you, because your home has become the sanctuary at this moment, we want you to get your blessed blessing in your hand and bless it and then give it by way of tithely or give it by dropping it off here at Christian Ministries or mailing it, 501 West 31st Street, Erie, PA, 16508. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. We ask you, Lord, that you bless those that are giving a hundred and a sixty and a thirty-fold. We ask you, Lord, that you bless in a mighty way to use it for the building of your kingdom. Hallelujah. For building of your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, Deacon Fields is going to come uh, to you. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord, he's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy. For he is good, yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes. For he is good, yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, yes. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Unto the Lord, hey. for he is good. He's good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hey. For he, he is, is good. good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is One more time. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, yes. for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, hey. for he is good. He's good. Yes, he is good. Sing it with your heart. Oh, give thanks hey. unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. For he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes. For he is good. How many of you know you yes, need the Lord? He is good. The Lord is worthy. I need him for my breath. I need him for my life. Good. Hey. Yes, he is My good. life depends on me for praising he him. Is yes, yes, he, he is, is good. For he is good. He is good. good. Yes, he is I good. need the Lord. For he is good. Hey. Yes, he is. For he is good. He is good. Yes, he is good. Come on, give the Lord a praise. How many of you know you need the Lord? Ah, hallelujah. We need him. Thank you, Lord. We need him. Don't fool yourself. The Lord needs you as well. But we need him more than we, he needs us. Amen. Hallelujah. My, uh, if this was our last time to praise, our last time to worship him, I wonder how many of us would take an opportunity to give him our best praise. Uh, if you knew that this was your last time to praise him, if you knew that this was your last time to give him thanks, I wonder how many of us would make it our best. Hallelujah. So since we don't know when it is our best, 
at our last, we should make it always our best. Hallelujah. Because we know that God is good. We know that his mercy endureth forever. Uh, we should bless the Lord at all times. And let his praises continually be in our mouth. Our soul should make a boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Uh, we ought to magnify the name of the Lord. Come on and give him a praise. Because he is good. I said he is good. Let the men say he is good. Let the women say he is good. Let the children say he is good. Let everything that have breath, let everything that have breath say that the Lord is good. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the worship. He's worthy of the thanksgiving. He's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 We ought to do our dance. We ought to clap our hands. We ought to stop our feet. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's worthy. I searched all over. I couldn't find nobody worthy. Uh, nobody worthy but you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Bosha. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Yokes are being destroyed. Somebody say glory. Hallelujah. Holy deliverance is happening in the atmosphere. Somebody say glory. The devil is on our track trying to turn us back. But somebody say glory. Hey, somebody say glory. Hallelujah. 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 I'm reminded of John the Revelator. Hallelujah. When, thank you, Lord. He was given a task to open the book. And couldn't nobody else open the book because nobody was worthy enough to open the book. So John started to cry. He started to weep. Hallelujah. But the angel of the Lord told him, uh, don't cry, John, uh, because we have found a lamb. Amen. The lamb of God. Hallelujah, that is worthy to open the book. Come on, give God a praise that we've got a lamb. Hey, hallelujah, that we got a savior, that we got a deliverer. He's worthy. Worthy is the lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy is the lamb. Uh, as we get ready to go into our preaching moment, thank you, Lord. I just certainly praise and thank God uh, for this time of the season because this time of the season I got me a, a Christian radio station uh, that plays uh, uh, Christmas songs and they, they focus in on those songs about Jesus. Hallelujah. How he is the king. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mary's baby came into the world to save the world. And, and it just puts you back into remembrance huh, how important Jesus is. Amen? How many of you know Jesus is important? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's not only the reason for the season, he's the reason for everything. Huh? All things consist by him. All things were made by him. Hallelujah. Nothing that is made, hallelujah, was done without him. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. So we certainly do thank and praise God for uh, his greatness and his mercy that he has shown toward us. We want to have the church to stand at this particular time. And um, by my clock here, I got 20 minutes uh, to work with you. Amen. So if y'all work with me at least 10 of those minutes, it'd be great. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Turn with me to the book of St. John. St. John chapter number three. Last week we focused on the love of God out of St. John chapter 316. This week we want to focus on the freedom or being free in Christ Jesus. Because God so loved the world, we are free in Christ Jesus. St. John chapter number 3 and verse 17 it reads as thus, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Let us read that together. Can we read that together? For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you sanctify my heart, sanctify my spirit, my soul, and my body, and these thy great people. Send forth your word, Lord. Send forth your word with the anointing, with the power, and with conviction. And Lord, we ask you to save uh, those that are under the sound of my voice, not only in this uh, atmosphere, but in our virtual atmosphere atmosphere as well and lord we're mindful of where we are in thee hallelujah in the name of jesus in jesus name amen you may be seated in the presence of the lord and as as i said earlier i wanted to talk to you today about being free in christ jesus being free in Jesus. And this particular passage of scripture is a very familiar passage of scripture to each and every one of us. And it begins in St. John chapter 3 verse 1 with a very prominent name, man, by the name of Nicodemus that uh, came to Jesus. And the Bible says that he came to Jesus at night. And we often say that uh, he was a secret follower of Jesus, but sometimes I beg to differ about him secretly following Jesus because in St. John he records that a secret follower of Jesus because in the book of St. John it records that Nicodemus stood up for Jesus when uh, they were coming against him. He uh, stood up for Jesus in the crowd and then when Jesus died, it was Nicodemus and another uh, young man. They uh, got the body of Jesus and they took it to a tomb. So I just beg to differ about him being a secret follower of Jesus. But more or less, you know, Jesus had a public ministry and he was uh, about his public daily task and one of the most convenient times to speak to him was at night. Uh, so that's the way I, I kind of see it. But, uh, you know, that's, we'll all find it out later by and by if it's even any of importance. But this man, Nicodemus, was a Pharisee, a ruler, uh, a scholar of the scriptures. But the problem is, is that when he came to Jesus at night, he said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man that came from God because nobody can do the things that you do and God be with him except God be with him. And those things that Jesus was teaching, those things that Jesus was doing kind of caught his attention. And uh, Nicodemus had wanted to have a conversation with Jesus about what he was doing. We, we all need to have a conversation with Jesus. We all need to take out our time just to speak to the Lord because the Lord can help us. The Lord can give us what we need. I mean, if more people would just took out a little bit more time to talk with Jesus, not just some things, but more than everything would be all right. Uh, so Nicodemus took that time and Jesus then begins to open up the scriptures to him and 
give him some understanding. He said, verily, verily, except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he can enter in to the kingdom of God. Except he be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And as you know, the story that Nicodemus was kind of confused about what Jesus had said. And he said, can a man enter his mother's womb a second time and be born? And Jesus said to him, verily, except the man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom. And uh, Nicodemus uh, was somewhat still confused about what Jesus was saying. And Jesus was said that things that are flesh are flesh, but those that of the spirit are spiritual. And he asked him, you know, he's talking about the Holy Ghost and he's talking about regeneration. He's talking about being born again. And Nicodemus, uh, he still was struggling with what Jesus had said. And that brings us to one of our main points in our lesson is that you know, even this great man that Nicodemus, a Pharisee, a scholar, a man of position, but he realized that he still wasn't free. He realized that there was still something missing in his life. It doesn't matter what stage or it doesn't matter what, where you are in life. If, uh, if there's something missing, it's just missing. If there's something that's needed, it's just needed. And oftentimes there was a man that I used to work for. He would often say when he got into an argument with his bosses, he would say, they don't know what they don't know. And Sometimes we don't know what we don't know. And uh, when sometimes we don't know what we're missing until we received it. We, sometimes we don't know what's missing out of our life until it's revealed unto us. And Nicodemus realized that there was something missing in his life. I, I'm reminded of even myself. I, my God, over 30 years ago, I was uh, doing my own thing and trying to, uh, you know, do whatever I could. And I was sitting at the dock and me and my boy Chucky was drinking a 40 and, and I told him, I looked out over that water, I said, Chucky, there's something missing. There's, there's got to be something better than this. There's got to be something better. There's got to be something more to life than us just sitting here drinking uh, at the dock of the bay. It's got to be something better to life than how we are living, Chucky. Hallelujah. And I didn't know what I was missing until I cried out to the Lord. Sometimes you don't know what's missing in your life until you make your cry out to the Lord. And when you cry out to the Lord, the Lord is able to reveal to you what is missing. When you cry out to the Lord, the Lord is able to give you what you need in your time of need. And, and when I received it, uh, when I received that Holy Ghost, when I got baptized in his name and, and my life began to change, I realized that this what was missing. There was a place that only God can feel. There was a place that only God could help me. There was a place where only God could lead me and give me the strength that I needed to, uh, to have the help that I needed. And I didn't realize that uh, my life was under a great while of condemnation, a great, uh, a great pressure of stress, a, a great pressure of guilt, a great pressure of shame. And that, that brings us to our scripture here on today uh, where it says that for God sent not his son into the world uh, to condemn the world. And, and that's what people are missing when they don't have Jesus in their life. They're under the strain of condemnation. They're under the strain of guilt they're under the shame a strain of unforgiveness but I thank God that we've got a savior that we've got a deliverer that didn't come into the world to point the finger at me because I, I was already guilty. I thank God that I, we got a savior that doesn't point the finger at you because he don't remind you of your faults. He doesn't remind you of your mess ups. He doesn't remind you of your screw ups. He doesn't remind you of your guilt. He doesn't remind you of your condemnation. Why? Because he didn't come here for that. 
Hallelujah. He didn't come here ah, for that. Hallelujah. He didn't come to make you feel sorry. He didn't come to make you feel sad. But he came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He came so that he could destroy the work of the devil in your life. He came so that he could remove the guilt. So that he can remove the shame. The, the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captive. And the recovery sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised and I don't know about you today but I was bruised oh sin has a way of bruising you sin has a way of mistreating you sin can leave some scars that only Jesus can heal sin can leave some scars that you need a bomb in Gilead to save you to heal heal your mind to heal your spirit you can go through some things before and after you have met up with Jesus that only the lily of the valley and the bright and morning star can help and save you from oh my God you ought to give God a praise oh my God we need some help up in here so the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him you've got to have your faith tied up in Jesus you've got to have your faith singled out in Jesus I can't have faith in mama I can't have faith in daddy I can't have faith in my brothers and sisters like I got to have faith in Jesus. You make your faith in Jesus. Oh my God, your world will turn around. When you make your faith in Jesus, you will receive the forgiveness of your sins. You'll receive forgiveness of your trespasses. For the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that's where the condemnation comes in. The things that we do in life, the things that we didn't or should have did, but didn't do in life, it brings about condemnation. It brings about guilt. Oh my God, some of you right now are feeling guilty right now. Just looking back over your life, the woulda, shoulda, couldas. My God, I'm not the only one that the woulda, shoulda, couldas come in to my life because of decisions that I made I'm still suffering behind them because of some decisions that you've made I'm sure you're still reading oh my God having some PTSD my God reliving the things that you've been through but I stopped by to tell you today that as long as you got King Jesus oh Oh, you can forget those things that are behind you and press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God which is in Christ Jesus. I thank God that when you receive Jesus, when you receive him as your Lord, when you receive him as your Savior, when you go down in his name and he fills you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the spirit of life oh, which is in Christ it can make you free oh my God come on clap your hands how many of you know that Jesus he makes you free the son is set free he's free indeed you don't have to walk 
realms with a condemnation of your past. You can tell the devil, you can tell your people that my past was taken by Christ Jesus when I was buried in his name. Oh, when I came up out of that water, oh, my hands was new. My feet was new. My walk was new. We were buried with him in baptism. All all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I no longer live at the dock of the bay. I no longer live in my trespasses and sin. We no longer live in our past. Hallelujah, our past mistakes. We no longer live in our past hiccups. Oh my God, because we're new. We've been born again of the water and of the spirit. You ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. Oh, for the Bible says, uh, that he didn't come uh, to condemn us. Uh, he came uh, so that the world might be saved, uh, so that the world might be delivered. Uh, and that brings us back uh, uh, to our boy uh, Nicodemus uh, because you've to see and understand uh, the scholar meets the master uh, I said the scholar he meets the master he thought that he had it all going on until he met Jesus you see sometimes we think that we got it going on until we meet Jesus we didn't realize Nicodemus didn't realize until he heard the words of Jesus that he was naked that he was a wretch that he was undone oh but when he realized oh what matter of man is this that can do the miracles and signs and wonders he repented he surrendered Ended his life uh, over to Jesus. Uh, oh, would we see Jesus uh, who was laid a little lower than the angels, uh, who was crowned with honor and glory? Uh, well, it says we would see Jesus. Uh, for Jesus said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And that's a cry out, not as a group, but as an individual. You've got to see the need. You've got to lift Jesus up in your life. You've got to magnify the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous runneth in and they are safe you've got to come to the conclusion that if it can't take me higher than Jesus if it can't save me like Jesus there is no other name given unto heaven whereby men must be saved you've got to make up in your mind I'm going to stick with Jesus oh this that I have the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away the temptation may come but I'm with Jesus I'm with Jesus because I'm free with him oh if I if I just lift him up if I just touch the hem of his garments I can be made whole I'm gonna be satisfied and stick with Jesus Come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Give God a praise. Oh, my God. You see, Nicodemus, he wanted a change in life. That's why he came to Jesus. Some of us, we've got to realize we need a change in life. So if you need a change, you've got to come to Jesus. You've got to come to him. 
a broken spirit and a contrite heart he will in no wise despise you've got to come to him and say Lord what must I do to be saved Lord what must I do to receive my joy back to get my peace back to get my praise back Lord what must I do oh my God to get my strength back but when I get my strength back watch out devil I'm going to give you hell you got to say Lord strengthen me Lord renew my mind Lord renew my strength Lord renew my anointing I want that power that I had with you I want that feeling that you gave me way back ago I need that joy I need that peace I need that glory come on and clap your hands I need you. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Rain on us. Rain on us. Rain on us, Jesus. Like never before. Hallelujah. You tried everything else. Now you need to try the best. Let come on. Come on and give him a praise. Come on and give him a praise. Hey, come on, Shandalabasha. Hey, come on, Shandalabasha. Hallelujah. I need Jesus. I need Jesus. Rain on us, Jesus. Shaba. Hallelujah. Break the yoke, Jesus. Break every chain, Jesus. Stir up the gift. 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 In the midnight hour, stir up the gift. Stir up this anointing. Stir up your power. Stir up your glory. Tell your neighbor, stir up the gift. Stir up your power. Stir up your glory. Stir up your anointing. Because our freedom is in Jesus. Our joy is in Jesus. In the world, you're going to have tribulation. Jesus said, in me, you're going to have peace. Hey, come on, son of You can't get your peace from man you can't get your peace from women you can't get your peace from children you can't get no peace from your job you can't get no peace from your husband or your wife but you can find your peace in Jesus he said my peace give I unto you not as the world give I unto you there's a peace there's a joy that is farther than any river. There's a peace. There's a joy that surpasses all understanding. And this joy that we have. And this peace that we have. The world can't give it. And the world can't take it away. You want to give God a praise. Shandere by Shanda. Some of us would have lost our mind a long time ago. But God. <laughs> Some of us would have thrown in the towel a long time ago. But God. Shama. Fields just gave me a revelation. Some of us did throw in the towel. But God picked it back up and gave it back to you. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Gave it back to you without a word.
gave it back to you without a frown and then went back and sat down at the great throne of power. Somebody ought to give God a praise. Nobody but Jesus. I said nobody but Jesus. I said nobody but Jesus. I said nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Let the church stand. Let the church stand. Come on and give the Lord the praise. Come on. Praise the Lord. Come on and just praise him. That there's no condemnation. Praise him for your life. Praise him for your health. Praise him for your portion of strength. Praise him for keeping you. Praise him for watching over you. Praise him for watching over you. You ought to praise him. Sunday. Gracious Father. I pray, Lord, for these thy great people that you re-anoint, that you restore, that you revive, that you re-strengthen, that you renew. Let come on, Shandana Basha. There's something in the atmosphere. There's anointing in the atmosphere. And let come on, Shandana Basha. Renew us, restore us, revive us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Just put a praise on it. Put a praise on it. Put a thank you on it. Receive it. Receive your blessing. Receive your anointing. Receive your double portion. Receive your glory. Receive your peace. Receive your healing. Receive your virtue. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. With everybody standing, those that desire to get baptized in his name, just let me know. Hallelujah. Put it in the inbox and let me know. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for this word on today. I thank you for this anointing that is in this place. I thank you for the word that we heard earlier from Mother Louise for us not to give up. No turning back to continue to the end. Ah, Come on and give him a praise. We're not turning back. We're not throwing in the towel. We're not giving up. We're looking unto Jesus. Ah, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. That corona want to take you out. Somebody say, but Jesus. That corona want to get you sick. Somebody say, but Jesus. Hey, but Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, I'm trying to let y'all go. But as I was preparing for this sermon, the Lord dropped in my mind about, you know, they keep daily stats. They keep daily stats on people that have got the virus and that have passed away from the virus. What if they would have kept daily stats on people that have died in trespasses and sin? Oh man, that number would soar exponentially. Uh, it would give people a greater estimation of how and why they need Jesus. But aren't you glad that you know that you need Jesus? Aren't you glad that you know that you got a savior, that you got a deliverer? Hey, come on, shot. Come on there, somebody and give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. In Jesus' name, amen.